Get paid, that's what we do. Stay fly, that's what we do. Get hoes, that's what we do. Stay drunk, that's what we do. Huh? That's what we do. Yeah, that's what we do. Huh? That's what we do. Yeah, that's what we do. Let's, I mean, fuck it. All right. We talked about sex for a little bit, but that's going to be another episode. Uh, yeah. All right. With you having this celebrity thing, you have like a social media presence. So today, our topic is yes. social media protocol. Absolutely. In a relationship. Yeah. Uh, First question I want to ask you, do you look at your girl's pictures and see who be liking her shit? Uh, I initially did. Cause, uh-huh. I, cause, when we first started dating, and it's not a committed relationship, but we're dating, mm-hmm. I want to see who checking for you, who you commenting <laughs> back to, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Because oh, I'm I'm a vigilant when it comes to background checks. A good background check source is mm-hmm. your social media. Women who are beautiful are not going to comment. I mean, it's twofold. She might be hiding. The guy that might be commenting or liking, but you can see the consistency with who's liking and commenting the on the pictures. Oh, yeah, you can. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to check that, and I'm going to check them DMs. And let me ask you a question. All right, so when you checking DMs, are you asking her who this nigga is and who that nigga is? And Only if I see some funny business. What's funny? Cause you, you, Improper entertainment. Your girls look good. Your girl look good. She nice looking. Right. A nigga gonna leave a hard eyes and her shit. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah. ain't gonna put it on the picture because he old sneaky ass nigga. So he gonna leave. Is, is, right. I mean, is that too much? Or no, it's okay no, no. Him? Niggas are supposed to be checking for mine. Uh huh. Because my my quality and taste is above average. So you should be checking and trying and, and shooting your shot because that's natural. But if she's responding back. Yeah, then it's an issue. Yeah, I maybe she's just a friendly motherfucker. She don't want to. I don't know. Tell yeah, me. my my girl ha, ha, has a great spirit and energy, so that friendly shit, it yeah. don't have no shit behind it. It doesn't, but it could leave the door open for a nigga, a sniper or a shark like myself. A nigga, all they got to do is be consistent with somebody who's friendly. Are you allowed to like her friends' pics? Her friends, yeah, it just has to be. I mean, I'm of an age. My 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 girlfriend's like nine years younger than me, mm-hmm. so she's heavy on social media as okay. far as like her daily routine. Okay, I'm there because of my career. I would never be on social media if, if it wasn't for no DJ. Okay. I like to be private. Okay. I like I like my millions to never be seen. You know do what I'm you, saying? But do you feel like you got to... All right, so now, but you are on social media. Absolutely. Your girl's on social media. Absolutely. Do you feel like you got to post your girl for the world to know or for your if girl to not, feel comfortable? Both. If not, she a fucking complain. <laughs> you not think sure all girls give a fuck if you post them or not? I won't say all. It's probably like a 50-50 thing where, okay. you know, some women won't care I would just well, it's not fifty fifty. I'll say seventy thirty. Seventy percent of them want to be seen on there because it's the new wave of showing me off, showing that you belong to someone. It's the new age era of a ring. Are you scared that if you post her and the shit don't go bad, you gotta kind of like take all the pictures down to her or? Uh, no, I'm, I'm petty like that. I like I let all that shit stay up there. <laughs> What's funny because my Facebook probably still got my old girl. Because I don't really spend time to go up there to right. fucking take the shit off if and see happened, what. If something happened with my girl, I would leave it up there so her friends, family, everybody could Just see. Just be awesome. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck you missing <laughs> and how you fucked up? Because my train gonna keep going. Now hers gonna keep going. But my train is different because I'm in the entertainment business. Okay. Which means my shit is gonna be. Projected either on radio, streaming, internet, TV, where your profession, she's a doctor. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you 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 got a, a doctor a doctor's ethic to where you can't talk about your patients. Yo, hey, listen. Yo, what this up? is this this Mr. Henny and Fry Crabs and DJ Five Nine. Yes, we sir. We are live, live on Henny and Fry Crabs podcast. So don't say anything. That's gonna get your ass locked the fuck up. Yeah. Gonna get you in trouble with your yeah. bitches. I mm-hmm. mean, if they recognize your voice, they recognize your Ask voice. Him, does he have any bitches or is he in a committed relationship? Oh, what up, 
whatever, whatever's clever. Are man. you single or are you in a relationship? Are you a single or are you in a relationship? I'm definitely single. All right. So, all right. We talking Dude, about turn it up. We talking about social media protocol. First, I want to okay. say, let's say you get in a relationship. Do you feel it necessity for you to post her on your social media? No. So what? So are you gonna post your girl when you get one? Probably not, cause all, if I post my girl, all I'm doing is open her up for the savages to holler at her. <laughs> but what you gotta do is so just can't tag huh. her, bro. She gotta be. I mean, she can't have no social media handle. Oh That's damn. Wrong. Let me ask you this too. I mean, so you got a jank that you talking to or you fucking with? I right. are you are you watching her likes and seeing what niggas is liking her shit and who's frequent on the likes and who's frequent on the comments? Nah, I don't owe her that or them that. She's Come. not my girl. I, don't, I definitely don't watch likes or none of that. I are you serious? What about your old uh, your old bitches? I mean, you saying if I was just messing with her, if she was my girl. Let's I'm talk about your old girl. Do you go? <laughs> do you go back and look at her your old girl shit? Right now? Yeah. Nah, nah. We 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 done. Hey, <laughs> listen. I don't care what you're doing. I, I really want to unfollow all her friends too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, fuck it. I'm her friends go. don't get to see what you're doing right now. Hey, listen no. to this too, though. All right, because we talking about, like, friends and all of that. Are you allowed to like your friends' girls' pics? No, 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 no. God if damn. If you're not in the pic with her, uh -huh. I can't like that pic, man. Are you serious? Yeah, that's out of line, bro. If it's her alone and it's real, no, man. Why are you liking that But that's pic, what I'm saying. Bro? If what she's showing her ass, I'm not going to like it. But if it's just a regular her, like, just at the pool, I'm just going to like it. Because, I, I mean, you my nigga's girl. I, it's nice. Listen. And Let me get your lights up. Out of line. The only <laughs> way I'm liking my nigga girl pick is if she got a hoodie and sweats on and Tim's, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Anything seductive, I'm out of line, man. I feel you. Well, you don't really got a girl, so it's like you you just a free agent out here, so you can really wild on social media if you fucking want to. But ask you him if he had a girl, how does would he be checking her DMs? Do you check the DMs when you when you uh, had a girl? You got a girl bro. you can call with a nigga or you got anybody? A Listen, girl? A girl with a boyfriend or a girl? Yeah. Call a girl with a boyfriend. I just text that you ain't mean to find. Nah, bro, I don't check when I had a girl, I wasn't checking her phone, not checking her DM. None of that. Listen. If you messing with another nigga, it's eventually gonna show his face. So her social media is just free to do whatever the fuck she wants to. So she can just post as many ass pics as she want on social media. Wow. And you don't care. Now, I mean, th that you kind of you kind of jumped out the window now. I mean, <laughs> if, if at the end of the day, what are you posting that for? You want some attention from a nigga? Go get him. No, nah, I mean uh, I just it's, it's gonna cause a breakup. Is what okay. it's gonna do. All right, well. Listen, bro. You're going to be out here in the streets with these same niggas that can't run two together. <laughs> so what can she post on social media if she your girl? Listen, I mean, at the end of the day, just post nice, post nice quotes. Uh, and just be honest, bro. You don't post her. Do you want? Do you feel like she need to post you to show the world she got a nigga? Just be honest. Yes. Yes. So you want her to post Sprinkle. you? Sprinkle me. Let him know. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to give me a weekly joint, but keep a nigga honest. I feel That's you. Let the, the world. Let the world know I'm your king. Goddamn it! Hey, look, bro. Well, I appreciate you, man. I'm gonna call you later, man. You gave the folks some good shit, man. <laughs> And you ain't the criminal uh, age. Bro, that single life is the best life, boy. I remember when nah, I was... Nah, it's not. It's not. Bro, it, let it's me not. ask you a question, bro. You, fuck, you fucking a new bitch every night. Because you getting bro, money. Listen, you, listen, bro. Listen. If not every night, every couple, bro. Let me ask you this, too. Since you're single, are you getting right, that bitches bro. on social media? Do you? Are you a DM bro, diver? Listen. <laughs> on, listen. If, I, if, if, you, if you post something I like, I'm going to hop in the DM and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test your energy. Gosh, oh my, what's your first thing you're going to say? Good morning, queen. <laughs> Good morning, queen. What's your, what's your favorite DM line, bro? Tell me your favorite DM line. How, how your day going, Queen? Gosh, oh my. You Damn. call her all my queen. You, gotta, you, gotta, she, you know, you got to lower men, man. Bro, she probably just got finished sucking man, the dick, man. Man, say you got lower men. <laughs> hey, you a funny <laughs> nigga, man. Hey, look, I need you on the podcast in person, man. People need to hear you, man. But I'm going to holler at you later, bro. Good shit, though. All right, all right my nigga. All right.
Yo, this is too funny, man. All right, we got, a live, we got a live call coming this up. This is what we do on Henny and Fried Crabs. Yes, sir. Put it, to the, put it to the mic. Coco, how you doing, Coco? I'm doing horrible, but I'm here. Okay, well, well, let's get into it. You live? Tell her what she live on, E. Henny and Fried Crabs podcast. So don't say anything incriminating. Don't say anything that your nigga gonna listen to and get you in trouble. That's right. Oh, okay. All right, so first of all, let's address why is your day going bad? Um, I was in Virginia Beach with the shooting that happened. So oh, wow. It's just been a really long weekend. I'm from okay. 757. Okay. Prayers, well, prayers. Well, yeah. Prayers up. Yeah. We, we, we want to change the mood for that. And you're driving right now? I am. They closed down the highway because a truck fell over and caught on fire. So, you know. Okay. Okay. Well, we we need to we need to get you in. You, yeah. Well, yeah, we need to get you into a better mood right now. <laughs> We're gonna lighten the energy. Yeah. Uh, so right now here on the podcast, we just have a couple of questions, and we're we're trying to get a everybody's perspective. We just call one of our good good homeboys. Now we want to call Coco, who's very opinionated. Uh, so he asked her the question: Social media protocol. Do you have a boyfriend? Do I have a boyfriend? Yeah. No. All right. Did you? When the last time you've been in a relationship? Um, probably like two years ago. Okay. Was it essential that he posted post you on his social media? Did he did he post me? Yes, he posted me. No, I said and was not it only to his story, but to his page. No, was it essential for, for him to post you? Like did you want him to post you? Did I want yes, because I was in a long term relationship with him, so I was okay with him posting me. So yeah, did, but did you require it? Was it something that you needed to see? Um, so, okay, I do have an opinion on that. When it comes to uh, someone that you're in a relationship with, I feel like that's based on what you feel like you want to share to the public. I, I feel like for me, yes, it is required. If I'm with you, I'm not going to tell you that it's required, but like, mm -hmm. you need to post me. Okay. Why would you not post me? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, claim, claim this. You don't have to have a long caption. Yes, people should know that you're in a relationship. Okay. Well, uh, so that means you're living for the relationship of the world. Why are you worried about what the world cares about, who sees you, and why you need to be attached to this person? Because do I look like Drake's child to you? Like, I'm not <laughs> hidden from the world. Damn. I'm not doing that. <laughs> if you're dating, you know what I'm saying, we're in a public relationship, that means that it could be known publicly we're together. Again, I don't need a long caption. You don't have to post me for Women's Crush Wednesday every day, but I'd be damned if people think you out here single as a Pringle because I'm not being posted. Okay, Coco. So we're, not, we're not about to do that. So we got that understood. Let me ask you a question. Are you checking his likes and seeing what bitches is liking too many of his pictures? <laughs> and which no, one? No, I'm not doing all that. I, so I'm not doing that for like the random IG models and stuff like this. Shoot, I'm liking it too. But at the same time, I understand, like I'm woman enough to understand that a man's Instagram and their, their feed is going to look completely different from mine. Okay. That. So I'm not, I'm not mad about it. But there's also, I think guys don't understand that there's also a limit to what you do. They don't do anything in like uh, moderation. They go overboard. <laughs> <laughs> you, follow, you better believe it. It's, it's only fan pages. Like, Dan, how much of this? How much of this do you need to see every waking moment? I fucking moment? feel so you. I feel like it's about balance. And again, it's communication. Just to, like let me know because if this how you gonna be, then I'm gonna just go ahead and, and move the way I need to. So Coco, all right. Well, and this is the thing: is he allowed to like put hard eyes and shit under girls' pics? And we not talking no model bitches. Like a girl that he knew from back home, or right. a girl you know that he know. Is he allowed to put hard eyes and shit? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to say uh, everything is depends with me, but I'm going to say overall, I feel like don't do anything that you don't want me doing. So as long as you're okay with me, her eyes are under. Like, nah, oh, that's not what I asked nah, you. That's, nah, nah. And, and let me ask, so are you okay, putting. Then if, you're not, if you're not okay with it, then don't do it. Don't do it, because I'm going to give you the same energy you give. You want to be a hoe? I mean, I ain't going to do that, but you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, hold on, <laughs> man. Hey, 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 look, Coco. Hey, look, Coco, you about to change the subject now, because you saying if he do it, you going to do it. But all right, so so are you putting comments under niggas' pages when you're in a relationship? Like saying his fit nice, he look good, or a nigga with his shirt off? Are you giving him the the uh, the, uh, the, the arm? The strong yeah. emoji? What are you doing? No, I don't. 
people that I knew or just followed. Like, I wasn't going on a guy's pages leaving, like, hard eyes emojis in the I mean, but I've never been that type of female anyway. Like, these are females who are all in the dudes' Instagram and, and talking to their DMs. Mm -hmm. I've never done that. Well, you, so, for me, the most, again, what I'm liking is other female stuff. Like, I'm not really doing all well, that. Well, you single now, so let me ask you a question. What's your DMs looking like as a single person? Yeah, what they looking like? Oh, she went out. God damn, the shit hung up on her. Hey, listen, Coco talking that she talk. She said, oh, we got We got to get her back on the line. Yeah, she going to call back. She said the call dropped. I want to see what, she, what her DMs looking like, and is she getting that niggas in her DMs? Because, I mean, she's single, so, I mean, at the end of the day... Yeah. How, before you got in a relationship, was that a way that you got at chicks on social media? Uh, actually, or are you more in person type? Person? I'm definitely more in person because my swag and my approach and how I even walk up to you, how I smell, how, how you know what I'm saying, how this chain hang off the neck is going to hit you different. Okay. Now, DM is going to come about if I have no way of knowing where you'll be or if I'll see you. So I jumped in my current girlfriend's DMs. Okay. I had to. I didn't see her. I hadn't seen her before as far as on a consistent basis, and I made sure, like, yeah, I, I need that. Well, let me ask you this, and I hope you don't. Know, yeah. Have you ever seen a girl in the club and didn't say shit to her and then got home and fucking hit her fucking DMs like, yo, I seen you in the club? No. Yeah, that's fucking corny. Don't do that shit, my nigga. Gumps yeah. only do that. No, you can't say gumps do that. You gotta. Some people have a different approach of how they of how they uh, go about handling their business. Some people don't have the uh, are not extroverts. Some people don't know how to approach women in a manner where you gotta spit your shit. Coco may not call back. I'm gonna see if my fault do. Let me see. No, yeah. I'll tell her to call back. She said it dropped. I'm going I'm to get my girl lay on the phone real okay. quick. Hello. Yeah. Hey, listen. Well, you already know. Uh, you are live on Henny and Fried Crabs podcast yes, with sir. me and my man Five Nine. Don't yes. say anything incriminating. I'm not even gonna say your name. If a motherfucker okay. recognize your voice, he just gonna know. Damn, that was the pussy I just got out of. Oh man. All right. So we're talking social media protocol. Let me ask you right now, first and foremost, how your DMs looking? You getting unsolicited dick pics? Oh my god. Uh <laughs> what oh, do you, that means she's what, 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 do you, what do you what do you do with them? Do you look at them? It do, is it in? Um, I look at them and then I then I tell them like, okay, what what can I do with this? If it's big, are you impressed? Yeah. Oh, for oh, if it's wow. small, if it's small, what do you do? Laugh. <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> but can't the can't you, can't you can't you angle it and it looks? Yeah, angles is a funny thing, dog. I know how to angle my shit, and you take it from the fellas, take it from the bottom up. I'm telling you, that your shit look big. Is wild I'm gonna tell you. Shit. All right, so we talking about in relationships. So you've been in a relationship before, I know, because I know you. All right, are you looking at your man's social media, seeing who's liking his pics and who's not? Yes. Wow. I very intrusive. Are, are 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 your friend are your friends allowed to like your boyfriend's picture? Um, yeah. Are you allowed? Nine times out of ten, you're not gonna see nothing that you don't want to see. Like you know, mm -hmm. so you like you like they you like they boyfriend's pics? Yeah, if it's not nothing like provocative, yeah. Oh, okay. If it's okay. Hell no. Nah. Okay. Well, I yeah, feel I you on that. I well, cross my friends for no, no, no man. Oh no, no doubt about it. That that shit don't even make no sense. We're also asking if you're in a relationship, do you find it a necessity to post your man on social media and him having to post you? Like, do you make your man post you on social media? No, because I feel like if a person want to do something, they're gonna do it. Uh, so do yeah. you do you post your boyfriend? Did you post your niggas? Um, And, relationship. and what span? How long was that relationship? Six years. Oh, God she was, damn! Hold she on, was hiding hold, hold that on, nigga. Hold on. She hold was on. hiding him. And listen, I follow you. You be showing heavy ass because you got a lot of ass and a okay. lot of titties. Yeah. You show more ass before you post him. So what's that all about? You think that's okay? Um, first, uh, because um, he said I got because we didn't follow each other. Okay. Like, so I guess. But once, once, um, you know, like once we like 
got serious and moved together and stuff like that, I deaded it. Like I stopped. Two, more two times in six years? That's questionable. That's questionable. And and this is the thing. If you're going to post them two times in six years, is like I want to portray to the world that I'm single Hell and I may need me yeah. a spare tire. I don't know about that one. That's a little... Not, not really because... See, my relationship was a little different because mm. it was like he was going through stuff. So it was like, mm. all right, let's just like we was together but we wasn't like traveling and you know doing a whole bunch of like fun stuff okay to even take pictures but when it came to like family oriented stuff like christmas and all that we took pictures and i would post them. are you checking his dms yes sir checking the dms the passwords. i know all the passwords to everything god damn. why why you feel insurance. why you feel like you need to check the dms oh uh, because women is thirsty just as well as men but what did that have to do with his relationship with you? If you trust him and you with him, why you need to check behind? You don't check behind the garbage man after you take out the trash. You know that it's going to get done. Oh, uh, because men slip up. So that means what? Y'all have a mind of his own down there. So that means women slip up as well. Exactly. Well, humans, I'm going to just say this. Okay. Everybody's breaking down. My bad, y'all. Yeah, it's all good. I mean, but, um, it's live. What was, I, what was I about to say? You was about to talk about how you we cheat. All mess up. We all have a. I, I said this. We all have a bad timing. Like, and when I say bad timing, it's like you don't have a person that you probably wanted in the past that mm -hmm. you couldn't get mm -hmm. coming to and coming to your life at the time that you and that person going through something. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that bad timing made you and that person from back in the day. All right. Well, listen. so you're basically telling on yourself tonight. Right, going dead, so. No, I ain't talking to myself. I don't cheat. Well, all right. Well, this is the last thing, and I'm gonna let you go because this was on another subject that we was talking before. This, what's the perfect, perfect sex time? Like, how long is good sex? Yeah, honestly, just one nut, one nut. We ain't talking about all night. Just one nut. Regular sex in the crib on the bed, foreplay, all that added. How much time? I would say ten to fifteen. Ah, I told you, everybody. Wow. Listen, I told him wow. the same shit. Ten to fifteen five is lit. Is too fast for me. I can't do nothing with five minutes. And too long is too much. How so. fat is that ass yeah, though? Too, is that, it's gonna take you out of here. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, her middle. ass fat. Okay. And big ass titties too. I'm gonna show you. He asked how big your ass is. I tell, I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna show him a picture of your ass when we finish. Hey, look. Yeah, I, huh? You nigga, you just be talking though. You pussy, <laughs> pussy probably, probably average. That head probably <laughs> average too. Remember, but neither, all pussy good. Yeah. I, listen, the we, head could be average. We'll though. talk another day on that. Well, listen. Thank you. I appreciate you for coming. Average. I'm gonna tell you that now. Listen, niggas, he just loves you for who you was. That's all. He loves <laughs> you. Love you for your personality. Hey, look. No, he because he's still trying to get it back. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I, listen, I appreciate you. Next time we talk about fucking and good shit, we bring you in live and we'll talk about that. But I appreciate you and I'm gonna holler at you in the future and I'll probably uh -huh. text you after this. All right. Okay. All right. So listen, we didn't talk to a few people. Yeah. Uh, social media protocol. Uh, it seems to matter. And we can go into depth. Listen, on my social media, uh, like I say, Twitter, Henny and Fried Crabs. That's H E N N Y N Fried Crab on Twitter. Let me know what y'all think about social media protocol or anything yes. we talked about tonight. Your social media handles? Uh, DJ underscore five nine on Instagram. DJ underscore five nine on Instagram. Yep. Uh, Facebook. We can just look at the Henny uh, and yeah, yeah. Fry Crafts Facebook. Yeah. Uh, and on YouTube, put a comment what y'all think about everything we talked Facts. about tonight. This won't be your first time seeing that face. Absolutely. Uh, definitely won't be the last time seeing this face. Uh, we appreciate y'all fucking with us tonight, man. Social media protocol, fucking. My man's a celebrity DJ. We'll see Lightly. you next time on Henny and Fried Crafts Podcast. Out. Peace out.